I'm gonna be talking about the biggest mistake I made as a filmmaker in 2019 and hopefully you will be able to learn from these mistakes and never make them yourself. The biggest mistake I made as a filmmaker in 2019 was the fact that I was chasing shots instead of the story. Let me explain. So in 2019, I was traveling a lot. We traveled to over 20 countries, China, Israel, Thailand. We had a Europe trip where we were going to Germany, Poland, Austria, Tenerife, a lot of traveling. I made a lot of travel videos, right? A travel video here, a travel video there. There was this one issue. Every single time I finished the video, I was never really happy about the results I achieved. And at first I didn't really know why. Was it the shots? Maybe I wasn't getting good enough shots. Maybe, I don't know, I needed to do more interviews or just something was wrong. Something was clearly wrong because every single time I finished the video, I was like, okay, this is cool. Whatever, let's move on to the next one. It never really left this kind of a big impact on me. Of course, at first I didn't know why. I thought I just sucked as a filmmaker and I had failed and yeah, I was just really confused, right? And the thing is, we went to Thailand for a month. It's kind of sad that I only realized it at the end of the trip. Yeah, I was kind of sitting in a villa and I was like, why am I so unhappy with the results I'm getting? There was this one day where I didn't do anything. I was just sitting on the sofa and just thinking about it and yes, in the end, I realized it was the fact that I was just getting to a beautiful location, grabbing a couple of shots. Oh, a beautiful slow motion shot there. Oh, let's get it. Let oh, a beautiful time lapse. Oh, let's get it. Oh, I think a beautiful drone shot could be great here. Okay, let's just get a great drone shot of this waterfall right here and we're gonna be good to go. Whoop, done, let's get to the next location. And that was the issue. We were just getting beautiful shots here, beautiful shots there. Get to one location, spend like 30 minutes there and get good shots. Get to the next location, which is a waterfall, get good shots. <sighs> and that's the issue. And I think um, most of the filmmakers out there, travel filmmakers have the same exact problem is the fact that they're just getting wa beautiful walking shots there, beautiful walking shots here. And they're just, we are not concentrating on the story. We're just chasing shots. That's what made me very unhappy with my work was because when I was just looking at all the footage, I realized it's just a walking shot here. It's just uh, my friend looking everywhere. Yeah, but there was just nothing fun about it. You know, every single location felt the same thing over and over again. Of course, from these good shots I just showed you, you can't really tell that, but if you've been following us for a while and watching our travel videos, they're pretty much the same thing. There's, the, there's no story, it's just beautiful locations and that's it, you know? After I came home from the Thailand trip, I had this like kind of time to gather my thoughts. And uh, recently we went to Gran Canaria where we, I tried to shoot stuff in a different way and I also tried to approach the story in a different way. Instead of just um, concentrating on beautiful shots, I wanted to get a couple of interviews. I wanted to concentrate on locations which are kind of these cultural monuments of the place and just try to get in the shoes of the locals so to speak. Yeah I think the video turned out pretty cool and instead of just concentrating on the shots I concentrated on the emotions. At the beginning of the video you will see I did this interview with a rock climber and I think that made the video so much more interesting. Like, please guys, go watch this video and just let me know what you think because I think when it comes to travel videos, it's a little bit different. It has this like kind of a fresh feeling to it. And then let me know what you think about it, all right? All right, I know I've been talking for a while, but this is very, very important because this almost led me to another burnout and I kind of didn't want to film travel videos anymore. I was really bored of them. So how do you prevent this from happening. The first thing which actually helped me was music. As weird as it sounds, music really helped me. Instead of listening to all these typical pop, future-based <laughs> playlists, I actually started listening to a lot of ambient music. And ambient music just helped me see the story in a different way, see the place itself in a different way. And I have a perfect example. In Thailand, we went to this cool temple. I forgot the name of it. It was pretty uh, <laughs> a pretty interesting name. Anyway, we went to this temple and all of my other friends were like, oh, this place isn't so beautiful. It's, it's not really... Uh, what I was expecting for, I was expecting this kind of a big temple with a lot of beautiful ornaments and stuff. What Rainus and I did, we simply put on some kind of Spotify music, some kind of Chinese kind of a vibe 
music, you know, ambient music. Uh, and I was looking at all the statues and everything in a completely different way. Instead of thinking about these crazy gimbal moves and drone shots, I was getting a lot of texture shots, a lot of close-ups. And now when I look back at the footage, I shot it in a completely different way. Like all the other temples we visited, I wasn't really listening to any music, right? So that's why they're kind of like this uh, faded memory. But that temple, just because I listened to those ambient tracks, like that temple is in my mind all the time. And I already know how I'm gonna be editing it. And it's gonna be this ambient music with a, a historical kind of a background. Yeah, it just made me look at the temple in a completely different way. Hey, music helps a lot and also actually to some temples in some temples I read a little bit of history about them and that helped me look at the place in a different way for example if I hadn't uh, read the history about that place I would have captured a lot of trees a lot of uh, I don't know just typical temple kind of shots but just because I knew the history of it I was capturing a lot of textures a lot of close-ups a lot of monks just because I knew how important they were to that place my other tip would be simply plan out your shots this is so important in Gran Canaria when when I was there I mean it's kind of a spontaneous trip you never know what's gonna happen right but I was still planning out the shots I was still organizing for example I told Reynes that he should only get the close-ups I should only get the wide shots uh, he should only concentrate on getting those emotions and um, yeah it's just we organized ourselves in a way that each one of us were getting specific kind of shots uh, one was only concentrating on emotions, I was only con concentrating on capturing the landscape shots. Instead of all of us just going everywhere capturing shots of the leaves, of trees, we were actually capturing more shots of the people, getting those emotions. That's why in editing it was so easy to come up with a story because there were so many emotions captured. Instead of concentrating on landscapes and beautiful drone shots and cinematic kind of shots of leaves and spiders, concentrate on emotions. Get those interviews anyway that was a lot of talking but I still needed to get this out of my system and it's not a topic I can tell in three minutes because it's seriously something you need to think about thoroughly and uh, if you just started out filming travel videos please think about this because after filming so many travel videos it just almost led me to a burnout just because I wasn't really chasing the story coming up with the story I was chasing shots anyway hopefully all of you guys are safe from all this situation happening worldwide and uh yeah i don't know about you but i haven't traveled everywhere in a month and i'm it's just driving me crazy man like i don't know what i'm doing with my life right now pretty much anyway thank you so much for watching hopefully once all of this messed up situation will end and you will start traveling you will take into consideration what i just told you and you know the drill peace out